Okay, so in drawing a monster with pastels on black paper, I took the uh, paper and I folded it up about a third of the way. And then I fold it back. I'm gonna use the uh, top part of the paper to draw the body and then the bottom for the legs. Now with pastels, um, when you're using a pastel, you wanna hold the pastel close to the tip um, so that you can draw easily. The nice thing about pastels versus crayons is pastels, they're a lot smoother, they're slick, um, and they slide across your paper really well, but they'll break really easily because of that oil. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with a, a shape, um, and it doesn't matter what shape it is, but I'm gonna draw that shape in the uh, top part of my paper. Mine's gonna have kind of a lump up on top of the head. Um, and I've got that shape. I'm gonna grab another one um, and draw that with the, I'm gonna use this, but you can also see with pastels, you've gotta rip that little bit of paper off if it gets too close to the paper. Um, so I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna draw some legs. Um, The big part is you want to make sure that you're drawing big shapes um, so that when we go in and make it, um, the uh, pieces are together. So then I can go in, uh, Monster's got to have some eyes, so I'm going to go in and draw some eyes here. Um, and again, uh, as many eyes as you want, as long as there are no more than five uh, so that we can be able to make it. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to put put two eyes on there. This one's a little bit bigger. You can see that broke. There. And then I might go in with a little bit of white and color that in. And then I might go back in with a little bit of yellow and get this mouth back there a little bit more. Go in with some dark green and get the edges a little bit. Get that dark spot up there. Some dark green around his eyes and under his eyes. Some up under his nose. And then in here in between his teeth. Darken that up so it's kind of like shade shadows. Maybe a little bit more yellow into that green. Give him some lines up and through there. That'll brighten up his eyes a little bit. I can go into the eyes if I wanted to a little. And that monster look. And some yellow on his teeth. gone through and I've colored him all in. Now I'm going to take a black and I don't color with black because I'm on black paper but I can go back in with the black and I can outline um, that original drawing again to make those colors pop out a little bit more on that black paper and this will make sure that if I went out of the lines It'll still make it, I can even go in and add some more details there. If I wanted to. Black broke a little bit. And redefine some of those parts that I drew. Make it stand out just a little bit more. 